Hi ladies, I'm here today. I did get my kit that I'm going to um, create Mary with. And I don't know if in the background, I hope it's not too loud. Let me turn it down just a tad. That is Ave Maria playing instrumental. I'm going to try to just turn it down just a bit. A little too loud, I think. That should be good. Sorry, ladies. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I am playing Ave Maria in the background instrumental. So, this is the um, Ping Lao kit. And she is the, I think you pronounce it Mei Li or Mai Li, maybe, kit. She is 32 inches. And you're looking at her head and her, she has a half torso, like just her chest and her head. And then she has vinyl arms. And then she has vinyl half legs up to her knee and she has a special body that um, makes her very um, neat to pose so this is her face and I did her head I just have her set up here with it's not exactly a um, veil or robe but head covering is a blanket but it kind of looks like a head covering so I put that on her just to show you the kit and of course she has a rosary over that but let's look at the details of her face. Look how beautiful her face is. And she looks very ethnic. She has some beautiful features. Full lips, as you can see. And if you can see her eyebrow arches, they're really nice. And the kit. I'm going to show you a little bit more. Let me take off her rosary just for now. Just so you can see a little bit more. And another thing that I loved about her is she has a very pretty long neck. It's going to be nice for posing, and I will have to put her together. She's going to have a connector to her head and arms and with the, the thick rubber bands inside. And I had to look it up on YouTube because oh, it's pretty difficult. I mean, I looked. I don't know how many videos I looked at, and I finally found one that actually wasn't particularly a dolly person, but um, they were showing how to do the connectors on another doll. And, um, anyway, I thought I finally found it on another video, but, um, there she is. There's her chest and her vinyl head. She is, of course, not put together. She's just kind of sitting, her head sitting on there, on her neck. And there's her beautiful face. And I will also, um, I'm looking forward to having quite a few outfits for her. I'm gonna, they're going to be probably specially made, tailored or... Like my seamstress, because I doubt I'll be able to find most of them alive. So there, so I put a rosary rack on, and I'll show you her other limbs. Here's her one of her arms. She's got long, slender arms. She's like a slender baby. So I just kind of, oh, don't fall. We'll just set them up there, I guess, for now. Of course, she's not put together. She's got very long, slender arms. You can see her compared to my hand. I haven't even washed her kit up yet, but it's not exactly how she's going to look. But there's her arms. Of course, they'd be closer up to her body. They're actually being with the, like, you know, in the sockets. Here's her leg, and she has a half leg, which means it comes right to the top of the knee. It's vinyl, and she has some pretty good sized feet here. Let me show you her feet. See her feet? And this is by Ping Lao. I did mention that, I believe. That's her one leg. And I'm not going to put her legs up there. Because that would look weird. Here's her other leg. She's a beautiful kit. She really is. And I was kind of really excited and amazed how well you can um, pose her because of her body. Because it has these, it's going to have like soft legs. Here, I'll show you. Here's her body. So it would connect under the torso here. And all this is going to be soft. And so her whole leg to the top of her knee is going to be soft. So that means that you can bend it and put her in all kinds of poses. You know, like this. So you'll be able to bend her, put her in all types of poses. And if you put armatures in her, which I may, I don't know if I'm going to do that. They say that she can stand if you put light armatures in her legs. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. I might, or I might pack her legs really good so that thick and then she could stand but 
she can get all types of poses because I've seen her, you know, in pictures and videos. Um, and they say that she can go in all types of poses. So I'm anticipating she would be able to go in a praying pose on her knees. I think that's going to be a really neat um, pose for her in video. She can be in a praying pose. She can hold the baby Jesus on her lap in all different kinds of ways. Um, she may be able to hold, probably be able to hold him up on her shoulder, I would say. And see how her arms are crooked, like bent a little bit. That's going to be perfect for holding a baby in her arms. So that is mainly most of her. And here's her connectors. From what I learned, this one, the shorter one, is going to go inside, be in her neck. And this one's going to go between her arms to hold her arms. And they've got rubber bands inside. And here is her um, COA, which I'm not crazy about. It's a very plain COA with such a nice kit. It just says Certificate of Authenticity by Ping Lao. And you're supposed to write in the name or the sculpt of the baby, which I don't really like that because it's kind of, it is official and everything, but it's like a generic official certificate because um, it, it's going to be for all Ping Lao babies. They just send the same certificate and then you're supposed to write in the name, which I think is kind of, I don't know. I don't really like that because you pay quite a bit for the kits. And I think you could, you know, do a little better with a pictured COA, perhaps. But anyway, she's a beautiful kid, and, I, and I'm really excited to get her. I did get her from Irresistibles. She's in stock now. She went out of stock for a little bit. But she's in stock now, Irresistibles. And um, I will praise them and tell, say that they mailed. I got also the Jesus kit that I'm using for Jesus from the Irresistibles. And they mailed really quick and very professional, so I like that. But there she is, and I hope I showed enough of her so I can see how beautiful she is. She's really beautiful. I'll show her from the side. I think she has a beautiful face. She's a be really beautiful kid, actually, all together. And so I'm going to um, make her have very long um, black hair, and probably curly, or or very wavy. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to get her a wig, a really nice human hair wig. And I'm going to try to get long enough so hopefully it will be down to the back of her knees at least. So she's going to have some long, pretty hair. And I want her to have ice blue eyes. And then the baby Jesus is going to have, um, and she's going to have an olive skin tone, like a biracial skin tone. And baby Jesus is going to have the same. He won't have rooted hair, or he won't have real hair, I guess you'd say. He's going to have the dark black painted hair and... Later on, I may um, get get someone to root a little bit of combi hair, combination hair, over top of that. But as of right now, he's just kind of pain haired. He's going to have the same matching ice blue eyes. So he's going to have to look like his mama. So that's what they're going to look like. And both of them have a, um, a light biracial skin tone. Kind of like I did one of my last babies. Probably that dark, which isn't super dark. Just... Like a tan, probably like my husband's skin tone. But I just want to show you that this pretty beautiful girl today, and she is just, a, I mean, you can see how beautiful she is, just her kit alone, blank and unpainted. You can imagine how beautiful she's going to be when she's painted, because <clears throat> she's a really beautiful kit. And Ping Lao did an excellent job on her. She's gorgeous. And I appreciate all of y'all coming and watching, and sorry for my books in the background. It doesn't look very pretty. This is my son's school books. This is a school room. Um, I was trying to just show Mary, but there you go. They can see Mary better. But um, I do appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate all watching, your support, and your kind comments and input. I always like your input um, on my videos and what I'm doing. And I like to hear about y'all's dolly plans for the upcoming new year. If y'all are getting any new babies, are you making any new babies? Or what y'all's plans are. That would be really fun to hear. What y'all's plans are for the new year. Concerning dollies and reborns. So that's all I want to show you. This beautiful girl today. And I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be showing you, showing you the kit that I'm going to use. To make Jesus. But I just wanted you to show. Wanted to show you um, her today. And as soon as I finish my dishes today. She's going to be getting her bath. And all cleaned up. So I'm going to start painting. Um. 
I think I believe I'm going to paint her first. So I will paint, be painting her very soon. And maybe in the next couple of days I'll start. I'm at least going to wash her up first. And just wanted to share this beautiful Mary baby with y'all. And like I said, I like to share it, share her um, in this journey from beginning to end. So here she is blank. And she's just this beautiful blank. And I will talk to y'all soon. Stay safe and stay blessed and have a wonderful New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Talk to you soon.